Summer is the best, isn't it? Except for the dreaded summer slide or summer learning loss. Keep watching for some fun tips to prevent summer learning loss. Tip number one, read. Encourage your child or students to read over the summer. Many libraries host summer reading programs where children can earn prizes for summer reading. Our local library also has an amazing app that lets you check out and read books digitally. The one that our library uses is called Libby. It's so easy to use. I check out books all the time from our local library and get them instantly on my iPad. You can also sync it to your phone so you can have reading material wherever you go. I'm not affiliated with Libby, just love it. Check your local library and see what they offer. The greatest part is, using the library is usually free. I have a fun library scavenger hunt for you. It's in my free resource library, which also has tons of other free stuff you can use to help beat the summer slide. To access, you just have to sign up for my email newsletter. Summer learning loss prevention tip number two, math. Math skills seem especially susceptible to the summer slide. There are all kinds of ways to keep your kiddos' math skills sharp over the summer. Play games. Head over to the Primary Planet blog to check out a list of some fun math games that you can play online. Puzzles are a great way to keep math skills sharp. Cooking, supervised by an adult, of course. Let your child help you do some cooking over the summer. This idea is an all-around great learning experience for your child. Practice reading by looking at recipe books and deciding on something to cook. Practice writing by making a grocery list. Practice life skills by going to the store and learning how it is organized and where you'd find the ingredients. Practice math by learning about money and estimating the cost as you go, paying and getting change, and then measuring when you go about making your dish. So many fun learning things going on. Tip number three, write. There are so many ways that your kiddo could practice their writing skills over the summer. Set up a free email account for your child and let them send emails, supervised of course by you, to friends and family. Keep a journal. Write stories. Make mini books. Sticker stories. Shark Week activities. Check out the blog post for more information on those topics. STEM activities help prevent summer learning loss. STEM seems to be the buzzword right now. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. You also hear the term STEAM. The A in STEAM is for art. STEM or STEAM is usually an open-ended activity or challenge that students try to complete. Usually there are constraints involved, like limited materials or time. There are so many benefits to STEM STEAM education. Check out the blog post to learn more. Tip number five, be a good role model. This is a tip not only for preventing summer learning loss, but to help your child always be the best they can be. Showing your child that you value learning by learning yourself is so important. Let your child see you reading, writing, and being curious around the world will help them want to do those things as well. This shows them that learning is a fun and valuable way to spend their time. Doing learning activities together is also a bonding experience. Your child will continue to reap the benefits throughout their life, not just during the summer. One really great way to set an example is by limiting screen time. I know that can be really difficult, but the benefits are great. Letting your child get bored during the summer sounds terrible, but it fosters creativity. Let them get bored. Take field trips. Field trips can be a great way to prevent summer learning loss. Field trips can be fun and engaging over the summer. Visit museums, historical sites, and other places that offer educational activities. Here are some simple field trip ideas. Grocery store. You have to go anyway. Take your child with you and talk about how the store is set up, where you can find certain items, what items usually go together, how much things cost, etc. There are tons of things your child can learn at the grocery store. Your local library. Usually libraries have tons of stuff going on. Teach your child or ask a librarian how to use the computer system to look up books. Do a book scavenger hunt together. Find some books to read. The library is awesome. Local park. Go to the park together. Obviously play, but also take some time to observe. Check out the equipment to see how it's put together. Look for bugs and flowers. The park is an amazing wealth of learning opportunities. Post office. Take your child to the post office. Show them how mailing a letter or a package works. Encourage your child to write a letter to a friend or a loved one and show them how to address the envelope. Go to the post office to get a stamp and put it in the mail. After your field trip, have your child write down a journal entry about what they learned. If you spoke with anyone during your trip, have their child write a thank you letter to the venue. Look up the address together and mail it. Summer vacation should be a fun, relaxing time for resting and recharging, but we don't want our students or children to lose what they learn during the school year. With a little bit of effort, you can make sure that your child is ready to hit the ground running when the new school year starts. Using the summer learning loss prevention tips will help your child keep learning while still enjoying their summer vacation.